my talk in uh, ICA Congress. Uh, as you know, uh, from many years ago, especially in the last 10 years, uh, many of the uh, advanced countries uh, prefer to prescribe a CGRP antagonist for migraine prophylaxis. Uh, but these drugs are not uh, easily available uh, in most part of the world. Uh, because of that, we have to uh, think about the other solutions and uh, the low-cost drugs that are available in different parts of the world. Uh, because of that, we reviewed the literature to find uh, how the other drugs work, also uh, the conventional drugs that uh, work for many years in migraine. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find uh, many uh, comparative studies uh, to compare uh, different conventional drugs to CGRP antagonists. Uh, but according to good reviews, uh, topiramate and botulinum toxin compared to CGRP antagonists. Uh, and the authors in the review uh, found that these drugs uh, work like CGRP antagonists or even um, at some parts better, especially topiramate that uh, was more effective than the other drugs, uh, but uh, because topiramate has uh, different side effects, like um, difficulty in work finding or decreased concentration uh, or, or paresthesia, uh, some of the patients discontinue their drugs. Uh, but uh, for botulinum toxin and CGRP antagonists, uh, the adherence of patients are better. Uh, but about the efficacy, uh, these drugs are nearly the same. Um, uh, I don't know, uh, I could, uh, in, in my uh, lecture, I could convince the other, uh, the, the audience that uh, the other drugs work like the uh, in the previous years that this drug works. Uh, but uh, if you have uh, the chance to use CGRP antagonist uh, for your migraine, uh, it's better because the adherence of the patients to these drugs is better. Not uh, a big difference in efficacy. Uh, 